you'll need a flat bench and a pair of dumbbells for this next program. Modified burpee for this one. So you can see I'm using the bench, so it's going to make the push-up a little bit easier. This is a great version of doing burpees for beginners in particular, and it's a great warm-up exercise as well. So getting into that push-up, um, and then jumping back, and you can see I'm not jumping up at the end either, so I'm just trying to keep the joint impact um, off my knees when I do this exercise. Your turn to try it. bench squat or bench get up if you like for this exercise. So you can see I'm starting with feet parallel, shoulder width and I'm lifting right up standing and dropping back down into that squat but I'm sitting on the bench as I do it and then all I'm doing is just lifting straight back up. So it's actually giving you a moment's rest when you're seated on the bench. Your turn to try this one. working some push-ups for this exercise and we're getting some assistance from the bench just to create a little bit of elevation and this will make the push-up fairly easy. Just make sure you're cautious enough not to tip the bench over. Your turn to try this one. elevated hips raise for this exercise. So I'm starting off seated in front of the bench with my arms on the bench in a crucifix position. And then I'm going to use my arms to assist me and I'm going to really squeeze up with my hips until I've created a straight line. I'm going to drop back down, touch my tailbone to the floor and go again. Uh, this one's a fantastic glutes and back exercise. Let's get you to try this one for yourself.
working an inchworm for this one and you can see that I'm going back into an extended plank using the bench for a little bit of elevation. So just a matter of going all the way back, reaching out as much as you can, really engaging your core and then working your way back up into that standing position and get that bit of hamstring stretch once you're at the top of it as well. Your turn to try this one. Unilateral flat chest press for this one guys. So you can see I'm holding the left side up and I'm starting my reps with the right side. I'm going to get a bunch in and then I'm going to switch it up and hit the left side as well. And then I'm going to finish off by going bilateral and hitting both sides together. Your turn to try it.
unilateral neutral grip presses for this one. So I'm going to hold one side up and I'm going to do my repetitions on one side only, just making sure that my elbows are tucked in and it, I'm just drawing some parallel lines at the top of it. Now, when I finish hitting it with my right, I'm going to do a set with my left and then I'm going to finish it up by doing a bilateral set, doing both sides together. Your turn to try this one. bent over unilateral rows for this one. So you can see I'm holding one of my arms right up at my ribs in that finishing position of the rows. And then I'm just doing my reps with my other arm. Now we want to make sure that your elbows are relatively well tucked in and it's just the straight up and down motion. Once you finish this set, switch hands and do the other side as well. Your turn to try it.
working some bent over unilateral T rows for this exercise. But you can see that I've kept the isometric side nice and tight by my ribs. So I'm getting that really good lats and biceps contraction and holding it on one side and then really focusing on pulling my elbows out and hitting the T rows on the other side. We're going to do one side and then switch it up and do the other side as well. Your turn. For this exercise, we're going to work some shoulder presses, but we're going to do them unilateral. We're going to do them one side at a time. So you can see that I'm pressing with my right arm while the left arm is remaining static. And when we finish the set, we're going to switch it up and work the other side. Now, make sure there's no rotation of the wrists and keep your knees slightly bent in order to protect your back. And let's go from there. Your turn.
this one's a nice difficult variation of a lateral delta raise. So you can see my left side is just holding that T position isometric and then I'm doing my reps with my right. Um, what you've got to be really careful with with this one is make sure that your wrists don't snap forward. You've got to try and keep them nice and tight the whole time. Make sure the movement stays nice and lateral and you've got a slight bend in your knees in order to protect your back. Your turn to try this one. Unilateral front delta raise for this exercise. So you can see that I'm using my left side to hold that front delta position isometric and then I'm working the reps using my right side. So we're going to hit one set with the right and then we're going to switch it up and do the left as well. Now make sure that your knees are slightly bent and you've got a neutral spine in order to protect your back. Your turn to try this one.
nice difficult variation of some bicep curls. So you can see that I'm holding one side isometric in that, um, in that contracted position and I'm just working on the other side. So just the right arm doing all the repetitions. At the end of the set, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hold isometric with my right side and get the left to do the reps. Your turn to try this one. working some unilateral hammer curls for this one. So very important to keep your elbows tight and tucked in by your side. And you can see that I'm holding isometric on one side and doing my reps on my other side. Um, having this hammer or neutral hand position is going to really help with um, hitting not just the biceps, but also your brachialis and lateral triceps to some extent as well. Your turn to try this one.
unilateral skull crushes for this exercise. So very important to start off with that neutral hand position, just drawing a pair of parallel lines with your arms. And then we're going to hit the skull crushes on one side, making sure you're minimizing any movement in the elbow. And then we're going to hit the other side as well. Then we're going to finish off by doing a bilateral set. So doing both sides at the same time. Your turn to try it. Dumbbell Zerka squat for this exercise. So I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width and you can see that I'm holding the dumbbell in that Zerka hold the same way as you would if it was a barbell. I'm going to drop down and make sure my elbows get to my quadricep and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Make sure you sustain a neutral spine and controlled movement. Your turn to try this one.
working a basic isometric squat for this one. So I'm just dropping down with my feet parallel at shoulder width and just trying to keep an upright upper body for this one. I've got the dumbbell pressed to the top of my chest and it's just remaining there for the duration of the set. Your turn to try this one. front squat with a single dumbbell for this one. So you can see that I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width and my knees are right over the top so they're not caving in or I'm not adding extra width to it. Um, I'm holding the dumbbell right in front of me just underneath my chin and it's staying there. It's staying stationary throughout the whole exercise. As I drop down, I'm going to try and get my elbows to my quadriceps which basically marks the perfect lower position in my squat and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Your turn to try this one. dropping down into an isometric low lunge for this one and you can see that I've got the front hand grip as far as the dumbbells are concerned. Just got to make sure that I'm keeping a nice upright upper body and a nice lengthy lunge for this one. So you can see that uh, my front leg has a vertical shin bone and just making sure that my knee is just about an inch off the ground. What I'm then going to do is swap it over and hit the other side as well. Let's get you to try this one for yourself.
Okay, I'm going to use the tip of the bench for some dumbbell hips thrusters for this one. So we're going to place the dumbbell on your hip. We're going to start right at the bottom, so with your butt almost touching the floor, and then we're going to lift into what looks like a glutes bridge using the bench for that additional range. Push all the way up and then release again. Your turn. Starting lying down on the floor in a prone position, we're going to make sure that we've got our knees and feet together and we're holding up the dumbbell with the arch of our foot. We're going to go into some leg curls and we're going to make sure that we're getting 90 degrees of action as far as the movement is concerned. Make sure you keep pressing your feet together to keep the dumbbell nicely secured. Your turn to try this one.
frog legs glutes bridge for this exercise so starting with your feet together and your knees apart we're going to lift right up into a glutes bridge as high as you can so we want to try and hit that body triangle and then return your butt all the way back down to the floor and lift again make sure you're keeping your knees as wide as you can throughout the entire lift your turn to try this one <laughs> top half dumbbell leg extensions for this exercise. So you can see I'm holding the dumbbell between my feet, keeping my knees together and just bending those knees until the dumbbell comes close to the floor and then lifting up until my legs are nice and straight. Lean back for support and again, just make sure your feet and your knees remain together. Your turn to try this one.
isometric leg extensions using the bench for this one. So you can see that I'm uh, holding the dumbbell between my feet and then lifting right up until your knees are nice and straight and really focus on tensing those quadriceps. Lean back for support and just hold your position for the next 45 seconds. Your turn to try this one. With a front hand position, we're going to go into some parallel legs at shoulder width and we're just going to work some calves raises from here. So just making sure that you're keeping a nice neutral spine, keeping the knees slightly bent to protect your back and just pushing all the way up as far as the calves raise is concerned and flattening back down as well. Your turn to try this one. Starting with your arms straight holding up the dumbbell, we're going to go straight into some dumbbell crunches on the bench. So you've just got to make sure that your lower back remains pinned against your bench and it's just a nice lift of the shoulder blades whilst keeping your arms nice and straight for this one. Your turn to try it.
working a variation of a Russian twist for this one. So you can see we're doing it with our feet up, so there's no support there. Your core is a little bit more active, and we're going to try to keep our weight on the butt cheeks rather than the tailbone. And it's just a matter of twisting from side to side for this one. Let's get you guys to have a go. bench top crunch. Now make sure you get nice and close to your bench for this one so you're creating a small package to start with. And then when you do those crunches they're going to feel really tight because of the confined space. So this is an excellent way of training in particular your upper abs. Your turn to try this exercise. <laughs> Working some good mornings from over the bench on this one. So you want to make sure that your knees are remaining relatively soft straight. There's no extra bending of the knees. And then what you want to make sure you do is you're just bending forward with a tight back, neutral spine, and pushing straight back up. So this is an excellent exercise range for your hamstrings and for your lower back as well. Your turn.
prone angel wings for this exercise. So lying on your bench in a prone position, you want to make sure your chest is lifted and we're just going to go with soft straight arms from in front of you all the way to your thighs in a horizontal motion. Your turn to try this one. fairly easy variation mountain climber for this exercise so you can see I'm using the bench to create some elevation and to give me some assistance with it. Make sure your knees are coming all the way through straight down the middle nice and light on your toes for this one. Your turn to try it. <laughs> Well done for getting through your workout today guys. Let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now. Comment and let us know what you thought of today's workout and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest workouts.